Today we are going to explore the map of Tennessee and we're going to talk about the five largest cities in Tennessee. Number five may surprise you. Let's jump right into it. I've got Tucker here with me. Tucker, where do you start when we're talking about the state of Tennessee? Sure, Clay. So first thing we really want to do is break down the state of Tennessee into three different quadrants. You've got West Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, and East Tennessee. And that seems pretty simple, but there are really three different states that just happen to be in the same area. Yeah, that's exactly right. So let's just start with Nashville. You know, the, the most noteworthy capital city, largest population, you're going to sit around 1.9 million people in the metro area. What else do the people need to know about Nashville, you think? Sure. So Nashville is really going to be the, the biggest area, the name that everybody really remembers. That's where you're going to have most to do, the biggest airport, most jobs, everything that you can think of. And then from the core you really start to move out so if you go south you really hit williamson county that's where you're going to have a lot of your your suburbs and you're going to have your equestrian areas such as a, a leapers fork or college grove or an earrington and so from there you kind of keep going further south and it gets even more and then on the north side you really have clarksville and from there that's really where the 101st airborne is and that's another large city but definitely what you're going to see is the most terrain you're really going to see is out in east tennessee but you're still going to get quite a bit of that especially when you're in davidson county or downtown nashville yeah good point uh and you're going to have a a median home price of around three hundred fifty thousand dollars in the greater nashville area depending on the neighborhood you're not going to be able to find anything for close to that uh so it all depends on what we're talking about but other noteworthy things about Nashville, to me, definitely Music City. It, the music industry is absolutely huge. Songwriting is absolutely huge. Uh, and, you know, my friend used to joke with me years ago and just always hazed me about Nashville being the country music capital of the world. This is before country music was what it is today. <laughs> I was like, dude, it's not country music. It's all music. And it's really true. You can find live music every night of the week. Downtown Nashville, Broadway has turned into rooftop concerts just all down the, the street. It's it's wild. All the big headlining, you know, bands that come through town, play in arenas is really big too. So you got to talk about live music a little bit if you're talking about Nashville. It's a it's a major attraction. Uh, I think other noteworthy things that come to my mind, Tucker, are like you know the Titans. You got professional NFL football team. You've got the hockey team, the Predators, which is has a huge contingent. You've got hot chicken. Uh, we got to talk about hot chicken a little bit, right? <laughs> well, and don't forget Geodis Park, where the Nashville uh, NSC plays. Uh, that's the new soccer stadium. That thing's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I've also been there for a concert. It was really on point. Yes, you've got to cover uh, Nashville hot chicken, but also going back to just music. It isn't just country music. I mean, yes, you have Justin Timberlake, and yes, you have Taylor Swift. Uh, you also have Jack White of the White Stripes. And you also have, you know, Ed Sheeran lived here for a long time before he finally got his break. Oh, the list goes on and on. It's nuts. The celebrities in Nashville, we don't have paparazzi creeping around Nashville like we do in L.A. Celebrities that are creeping around and you may bump into them in Nashville and not even really realize that they're there because it's just the environment we're in here. It's one reason a lot of famous people are coming to Nashville, I think. Of course, no state income tax helps. Well, but... Staying on topic, the five cities, I guess the one con with Nashville is, well, two cons. One is rush hours are starting to get pretty bad. They've been bad, but they're, you know, they're not great. The traffic is, is certainly uh, can be congested and the cost of living really in the housing sector, it has gotten a lot more expensive compared to the other four cities that we're going to talk about in this video. Nashville's going to be your most expensive to get into. I don't see that changing. Anything else on that, Tucker? No, you really hit the uh, nail on the hammer. Nail on the hammer? Nail on the head <laughs> with that one. So it, it is going to cost a whole lot more to live here. And a lot of people that are relocating here that we talk to, they get down here and they go, wow, this costs a whole lot more than I was really expecting. So that's true with, with, when we're talking about Middle Tennessee. If we move over to West Tennessee, when you start really talking about the city of Memphis, which is all really in Shelby County. Shelby County is really large. So, um, but when you head out west, what you'll notice is the terrain really goes flat. 
and so you'll you'll definitely see a lot more agriculture out there a lot more farming and then of course you've got memphis which is right there on the mississippi river so you do get all that outdoor life but what you'll also notice is the price of everything is a whole lot less you get a lot of home in memphis and be in really good shape absolutely definitely more affordable than nashville when i think of memphis I, for some reason i just think humidity um we have humidity in nashville but i think it's even worse as you go to southwest tennessee and to the area that memphis is in uh of course you got to talk about bill street you know jazz um kind of a downtown jazz scene and blues really the home of blues i think uh in a lot of ways you got to talk about Elvis. The home of Elvis Presley uh, is Memphis. And what else is there, Tucker? We got to talk about Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> so, <laughs> when, you, when you go downtown, you're going to see this huge pyramid. It was built for the Grizzlies, but the Grizzlies hadn't quite arrived yet. And when, by the time it came to that point, the, the building was really inadequate. And so uh, Bass Pro bought it and they put a hotel in there and it's it's fascinating. So if you like to hunt and fish and do all that stuff, you've got to go check that one out. That one's really special. That's amazing. Yes, you cannot miss the, the pyramid there. Uh, and of course, all these cities that we're talking about in this video, they are all on rivers. So you have uh, Memphis sits right there. That's the Mississippi River, right? I believe. Yep. And you've also got, they've got the NBA basketball team. They have the job. I don't know if Jaws playing right now or not, but they have the the Nashville does not offer NBA team. So if you're a basketball fan, a lot of people from Nashville may drive to Memphis for games. That's certainly where you got to go to get your basketball fix if that's your thing. Other notes, uh, population is going to sit around 1.3 million, depending on how you count it, for Memphis. So smaller than Nashville, but still over a million people in Memphis population wise. What's next on our list, Tugger? Sure. And then last few things about Memphis, we kind of talked about the downside of Nashville, the downside of Memphis. You have to take crime into consideration when you start talking about Memphis. For some people, they go, I'm moving here from this area, so I'm not seeing any difference. Whereas somebody who might be coming from a different part of the world just goes, hey, this is more than I'm usually used to. So all that's really relevant, but do share that about West Tennessee. Definitely a factor everybody needs to consider. You know, as you look at what city do you want to live in, that's a pretty big deal, can be. Let's shift over to the next city on our list, and that's going to be Knoxville, Tennessee. So we're going to go far east, up closer to, we're going to climb an elevation some, and we're going to get closer to the mountains, which is probably one of the coolest aspects of Knoxville. What else is significant about Knoxville, Tennessee? Well, obviously, it's home to the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, which has, a, you know, I think student population close to 30,000 people. Knoxville just continues to slowly grow. Uh, but when you get out there, obviously, you'll notice the terrain. You have a lot more hills. You have some more mountainous regions. So you do have that to consider. A lot of great lakes, a lot of great lakes with great docks. So that's one thing I'm definitely envious of being in Middle Tennessee is I feel like the, the lake action out there in East Tennessee is a whole lot better. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Land of the Lakes is is the northeast corner of Tennessee for sure. There's a lot out there. When I drive through Knoxville, it feels a little bit concrete-ish. It's, it's not a super attractive drive through downtown Knoxville. There's, there's nice areas of Knoxville, but their pockets, the whole downtown is nothing like a Nashville, Tennessee downtown. It's just not you got you do have the uh 1985 world's fair sphere or whatever that was still up which is kind of kind of dates the city a little bit it's like that gold sphere thing yeah but, it, uh, it, it's old and their downtown is a little bit older it just they did, haven't had what nashville has which is this huge renaissance where now you know nashville really focused on really creating downtown to what it is today and they're still working on that plan that will continue to grow out yeah, yeah, Knoxville is just a little bit different and it, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit slower paced, nothing wrong with that. But if you leave just outside of Knoxville and you go out to Pigeon Forge or you get near Dollywood, that is a entertainment outdoor adventure that draws more people than you would ever know. Yeah, that's right. It's a year round attraction. So the Smoky Mountains is really close to Knoxville, like 45 minutes, maybe. It's the Smoky Mountains, so you have clouds that really hang around there. It's a really beautiful area. There's wildlife, there's bear, there is a ton of rivers. I used to do some whitewater kayaking and we would spend a lot of time in that Knoxville, between Knoxville and North Carolina, Asheville region, because there's tons of whitewater rivers in that area. And I think, yeah, for me, Knoxville, again, on a river, which is cool, 
and, and then the University of Tennessee is probably the most noteworthy aspect of Knoxville. It, a lot of their local economy is based around that school. Uh, so that's a that's a big factor for Knoxville, Tennessee. And then also Knoxville has population around 870,000 people. It's going to be definitely a lot more affordable than Nashville. It's going to be comparable to Chattanooga, really, and cost of living, cost of housing. I think those are going to be pretty similar. Yeah, when you talk about Chattanooga, you have to realize, yes, that, that's still growing. They're changing their downtown area as well, which is, I think they're on a faster pace than Knoxville. But where Chattanooga's benefited is the city of Atlanta has continued to grow north in the state of Georgia. And when you start getting that close, people go, why don't we just live in Chattanooga? There is no income tax. You definitely have better housing, better pricing options. And then again, the terrain there, you'll just know when you drive through Chattanooga, it's an event. It's kind of a stressful event. You're really going up some tight roads. Yeah, that's exactly right. If you had to pick between Knoxville and Chattanooga, I'm just curious, which one would you gravitate more towards, you think? Well, if you asked my son, he'd tell you Knoxville, just so it'd be, we'd be closer to the basketball and football games. But yeah. <laughs> So I, I really don't know. I think that that's a hard draw. Knoxville still has this, there's a big youth movement that's going through Ch uh, Chattanooga right now. So you, you do have the Volkswagen car plant there. You do have their battery plant. They do have quite a bit of retail. Airport's still small, but you're really close to Atlanta. So that would have a draw as well. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, you know, you got a population in Chattanooga around 600,000 people. So you're going to be a little bit smaller. And of course, you have the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. So there's a Knoxville campus, which is the main university. And then Chattanooga has been growing like crazy. So University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. They both are going to have mountainous regions nearby, lots of uh, rivers, lakes. So they're going to have some similarities in that regard. What else do you think of when you think of Chattanooga, of course, you got the aquarium in Chattanooga, which is pretty awesome. Definitely worth taking the family to, no matter where you live, it's, a, it's worth the trip. You got Ruby Falls, you got some of the outdoor, real scenic attractions, I guess, if you will, right there in Chattanooga. So there's some cool things there. Well, one thing I forgot to add about West Tennessee was between Memphis and Jackson, Tennessee, uh, you have Blue Oval City, where Ford is actually building an entire city. And so I think at some point they're going to have about 6,000 jobs. Right now it's farmland. And so right now they're bringing the power and the water infrastructure in place to build this whole car plant. And so they're really building a city just about, about 30 minutes east of Memphis. So something to keep your eye on. Just there's a lot of growth happening between Memphis and Jackson, Tennessee. That's a huge deal. Like that's a whole economy just being created right there. So definitely noteworthy. The companies just keep coming into t the state of Tennessee. And that is a great example of that. Real quick on Chattanooga, I think one of the drawbacks, it could be, it doesn't have the commerce that a Nashville has with the high paying jobs. They do have, they did a really good job of putting high speed internet all basically all over the city of Chattanooga. So they are known as the gig city and they're, they're attracting some tech jobs for that reason. But it is not, you're not gonna have the same job opportunities you're gonna see in a Nashville. It's just not the same deal. It's just a lot smaller. But it'd be a really cool place to live. It'd be a lot cheaper to live there. Houses are a lot less uh, in Chat than they are in Nashville. So a couple things to think about as you look at Chattanooga. Uh, Tucker, talk to us a little bit about our fifth city, fifth largest city in the state of Tennessee, and that's going to be Clarksville, Tennessee. What do you think of when you think about Clarksville, Tennessee? Well, there's a lot to unpack there. So obviously Clarksville is really growing. Uh, we have a whole video in Clarksville where they're really changing the downtown area. They have a new downtown arena. They've got new hotels with rooftop bars coming online. You just have a lot of growth there. Yes, you have the 101st Airborne, but then you have LG Chem Battery Plant, which is gonna be supplying car batteries to General Motors. You have Hankook Tire, which just built a multi-billion dollar plant for just building tire, you know, growing building tires and so um there's just there's a lot going on in that city and so uh something to keep an eye on yeah 100 percent. you do have some pretty cool outdoor stuff to do you got a river walk again the city is on this one's going to be on the cumberland river i believe and so you have the waterway right there through the historic downtown area you're going to have canoeing and kayaking there's the dunbar cave which is a uh, really special cave that's a lot of people it's a tourist attraction kind of right there accessibility to nashville about just over an hour away from nashville so you're closer than any of these other cities are that we've talked about on our list from nashville so 
it really has a different relationship with Nashville than these other cities are going to. Cost of living is going to be cheaper in Clarksville than any of these other cities. So it's going to be less to get in there. You also have Fort Campbell military base right there, you know, on the Kentucky, Tennessee border. Definitely a huge part of what Clarksville is all about. What else about Clarksville should we talk about? Sure. So we have people that do come here and they're, they're trying to relocate. They're looking for different price points and definitely people that have families. The number of five bedroom houses that are in Clarksville is absolutely off the charts. You can find these planned communities, underground utilities, sidewalks, walking distance to the elementary school. You can get all that in a five bedroom for right around $400,000. Yes, there are some neighborhoods that are a little bit older. They're closer to 350 you can definitely go up to 500,000, but you have options. And that's what we like about Clarksville. 100% the high points of Clarksville and Clarksville population, you're going to see somewhere around that 300,000 person uh, category of size. So the smallest of all these top five cities, but it is the fifth biggest city in Tennessee. The con for Clarksville to me is for a lot of people, it's probably gonna be the lack of entertainment and like activities a lot of people will drive to nashville to catch games and events and concerts i think clarksville is going to get some concert activity but not nearly what you're going to get in nashville so it may be a little more sleepy for some people if they really are wanting to go get out in the nightlife like a nashville can offer so that may be the one drawback to clarksville anything else as somebody is thinking about these five cities that you think they should know about Tennessee. Boy, that's hard. First of all, we covered a whole lot of information over an entire state. And yes, they are really three different states, which is very comical. I really feel like we covered it. Last thing about Clarksville before I forget, yes, f and Bank Arena, it, it's just now open. And when the first few concerts hit, I think that's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Yeah, I'm so glad that they're adding things like that in Clarksville, but Clarksville is not going to stop growing. They're gonna demand offerings like that. And I love the historic part of Clarksville. I think it's really cool. And they got some rooftop bars and things like that going on. There's some neat things in that Clarksville market. If this kind of information is interesting to you guys, don't forget to follow our channel and come along with us as we explore different neighborhoods, different cities, different areas of Tennessee. We have videos out on several of these areas that we, we discussed in this video, so look for those. And again, we are our real estate team, so you can call us, text us, email us any questions you may have. Let us know what you're interested in in the state of Tennessee. And until next time, we hope to show you around town.